Dental amalgam classification depends on three standards according to the particle geometry and when I say particle I mean the silver alloy particle geometry according to the copper content according to the zinc content these are the three standards that I will classify amalgam according to uh, the first uh, classification which is according to the particle geometry we have uh, three geometries the upper or the irregular geometry the lower left which is the spherical geometry and the lower right or the mix admixed or uh, both irregular and the spherical geometry the irregular geometry the upper one is also called as the lathe cut geometry the lathe is a machine that has an axis around which a material will rotate and uh, we will cut it symmetrically the produced things uh, or particles uh, as a waste from this cutting procedure to the material to the rotating material in this uh, lathe machine are irregular in shape so that we will call them as a lathe cut particles so that the lathe cut particles are particles that are cut by that machine and the sawdust to the left uh, particles are lathe cut particles or irregular particles so that uh, now it is clear what is the meaning of the irregular geometry or the lathe cut particles geometry and the spherical or admixed geometry we should know that the lathe cut or irregular cut uh, shaved particles which are contained in the original amalgam used in the 1830s uh, used fillings from coins and hence had irregular shapes this type of amalgams requires more force than the spherical particles during, during the condensation to prevent voids the second type which is the spherical particles this shape generally requires less mercury and sets faster than the amalgam containing irregular shapes but some feel it has greater margin leakage and more frequent post-operative sensitivity so that the best type of amalgams are the amalgams that use both of these two geometries the irregular and the spherical geometries in the admixed alloy uh, the combination of irregular and spherical shapes is the best and it also requires more force to condense than the spherical particles but it has less micro leakage the second classification which is according to the copper content we have low copper and high copper content amalgams the low copper amalgams are considered inferior to the high copper amalgams on the other hand the high copper amalgams are the more current dental amalgams that have 13 to 30 percent uh, copper in it and as we said in the uh, previous videos that the copper is very important because it strengthen, uh, strengthens the amalgam by preventing the gamma 2 phase from occurring or uh, the uh, tin mercury from occurring the last classification which is according to the zinc content we have two types of amalgams zinc containing and zinc free when there is more than 0.01% of zinc in the amalgam it is called as zinc containing 
but when we have less than 0.01% zinc it means that uh, the amalgam is zinc free always try to know spread knowledge and construct the world be kind to one another and that is for the greatest benefit to the humankind